Good morning. Uh, I'm just on a little wander back from the from the shop and realised I haven't really shown or told you too much about the main hotel we're staying in, the Clarion Inn. I know it comes up on a lot of UK uh, holiday searches, especially package deals, and you might be wondering if it's worth it or not, or you might be staying here soon and want to check it out. So, uh, first of all, location. So, it's within walking distance of, off the top of my head, an IHOP, a Denny's, Olive Garden, a Hooters, I think there's a Domino's nearby, uh, there's a Burger King, a McDonald's, a Taco Bell, a little supermarket I've just been to, which is not as cheap as Walmart and other places, but it's not too bad. There's a Miller's. There's loads of places, basically, is what I'm saying, within walking distance for food and drinks. Um, in terms of the hotel itself, it's definitely been done up since when we stayed here a couple of years ago. The rooms have been refurbished. Very nice. I hate using the word basic because it's probably a level above basic. I don't know what word that would be, though, because it's too early to think of words. So one step up from basic is what I would call the Clarion Inn. And if you want to just use it for a base, then it's perfect. Uh, we wouldn't hesitate to stay here again. Uh, unless we come with some money, then no chance. We'll be at the Polynesian, y'all. <laughs> um, in a second, when I get back, I'll show you through the main building at the Clarion Inn so you can see what it's like and what sort of amenities they have. So yeah, give me two seconds when I get back, I'll show you. Okay, so we're just coming up to the Clarion Inn now, Lake Buena Vista. Um, I just wanted to add, for some reason, the first time that uh, I noticed this hotel is that I think it might have been the first time we stayed here. We were going up and down the I-4, you know, on the way to the Disney parks, etc. And I kept seeing the splash zone, you know, like water pipes and stuff. It just, just looked really fun. And then Cara booked this place, and I didn't realise it was the place that had the splash zone. And the seven-year-old in me got really, really excited. The seven-year-old in me. Rephrase that in your own mind so it doesn't sound quite as dodgy. But uh, when we actually came to stay here, the splash zone was off the whole time, so I was fuming. But uh, this time it has been on by the look of it. So when we get the chance, which will probably be today, I'll take you through the splash zone. So you lucky, lucky people. Okay, so we're now at the hotel. So over there, if you can see it, is the sort of main building. To the right, in and amongst those trees, is the, the right-hand wing or block, shall we say. So there's quite a lot of rooms there. Over the other side, you can't see it from here, over the other side of the main building, is pretty much an exact replica of that block there, so yeah, there's a lot of rooms here. I'll take you through the main building now. Oh, thank God, so nice in the shade. So we have reception to the right, the bar and snacks through there on the left. There's a little shop by here which sells drinks, snacks, cigarettes, sunglasses, t-shirts, you name it. Um, there's a business centre here if you wish to perform some business. And then we have the main restaurant that does breakfast, dinner and evening. We haven't tried that so we don't know if it's any good. little arcade room there. That little shop I showed you for, oh, pretty expensive by the way, so be aware of that. Thank you. No problem. So they're out the main doors at the back. We have a little sort of boardwalk patio area. We briefly showed you the other night. Um, so it's a nice place to sit and chill. or sit and chill and have a drink of an evening. You've got the water behind it and then the I-4 to listen to. Um, back behind me is where we stayed last time on the right side so they have their own pool and then we're just coming up on you might even be able to see the splash zone in the background try and try and keep it together splash zone is operational so this is the pool area just remember though i haven't got my key card but you need to open the gate but i reckon i can jump that So yeah, we're chilling at the pool now today. We did say we were going to tie through the goon, but we're a bit tired when we woke up. And even though that's a relaxing day, the pool is about four foot of my room, so it's even more relaxing. Uh, we are going to Disney Springs though, that's still true, that'll be later on. 
we cancelled Raglan Road and we're going to decide on where to eat instead of that later. Uh, partly probably cancelled it because last time we went to Raglan Road we only popped in for a drink and we left three hours later dancing with the man dressed up with all Ferrari gear in Disney Springs. Um, feel free to go and find that video in our last set from last year. They're not the best but that one's quite funny. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a nice relax around the pool and we'll see you at Disney Springs later on. Pokey pokey, pig in a pokey. We have made it to Disney Springs. We're definitely not tipsy already. Uh, we made a decision. We have got a reservation for the boathouse for food in a little while. Uh, we've been there before and it's always been really good, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, we're going to go to Homecoming, which is another fantastic restaurant if you're ever in Disney Springs. We're going to have a drink outside there and just generally see what the night brings to us. As long as it doesn't end with us dancing with Ferrari Man again, it'll be a success. That was pretty cool to be fair. <laughs> So same as everywhere else this week, Disney Springs seems really quiet, especially for a Friday. It's just uh, it's been a crazy few days in terms of the level of people around. Never thought we'd ever see it like this. So this is Uniqlo, shop in Disney Springs, loads of Disney stuff and other stuff. Pretty good value, we've bought a few things in here over the time, so it's definitely worth checking this place out. So we're now in World of Disney. I believe this to be the biggest Disney shop in Walt Disney World, if not anywhere. Halloween section, pretty fully stocked in early September. I mean, basically, if you're looking for anything Disney related, it's, it's all in here. I won't show you everything, but come and check it out. <laughs> Stop it now. It's kind of berserk.
Welcome to Dockside Margarita, one of our favourite establishments in Disney Springs. Habanero lime. Um, <laughs> little taste test. Oh, spicy but banging. All good. All good. Highly recommend this place. Love it. Yeah, very, very nice food in the boathouse as always. We've never had a bad meal in there. But I'll tell you what has happened. It's been so hot today. We only had a couple of beers at Margarita and a cocktail in there. Wilting like a weed. Wilting like a little weed. But uh, still an amazing time. We'll probably end the film in here for today. Hope you've enjoyed today's vlog of pool day and Disney Springs and the boathouse. And tomorrow we're getting up early to go to Universal Studios so we're checking into Royal Pacific, Pacific Royal, I'm not sure which way around that is. And then Sunday we're doing Horror Nights. So the next couple of videos should be pretty cool. So if you hope you enjoy, please subscribe to our channel. I'm going to lie down now. Bye.